David Hockney. Hockney was born in 1937 in a city called Bradford. He lived with his parents and grew up with three brothers and one sister. After he finished school, he attended Bradford Art College in 1953, where he achieved a first class in his degree. It was here he learnt about the fundamentals of art and mainly used oil paints. After he graduated, he wanted to go on to do better things. So he left Bradford and headed to London to study at the Royal College of Art. It was here that he became one of the main influences of pop art. Pop art is based on popular culture such as celebrities, music, advertisements and more. After a few years in London, he moved to Los Angeles in 1964. He was mesmerised by LA swimming pools and other glistening surfaces. He was inspired by how water interacted with light. In the early 80s, Hockney took to photography. He took inspiration from Picasso through Cubism. He shot hundreds of photographs and pieced them all together to create a masterpiece. You can see how his style develops. It took him a week to take all the pictures for this one and even longer to collage it all together. When Hockney turned 50 in 1987, he adopted two Dachshunds named Stanley and Rupert. They soon became his best friends and also the subject of his artwork. His friend back in Yorkshire, Jonathan Silver, transformed the Salts Mill building in Sonterre, which is on the outskirts of Bradford, and he wanted to showcase Hockney's artwork. He transformed this dilapidated building into an incredible art space, which also helped bring some economy into the suffering village at the time. Jonathan took ill, so Hockney flew back to the UK and stayed in Bridlington. He drove across the Yorkshire walls to visit Jonathan and Weatherby before he sadly passed away. Hockney painted this route from memory when he got back to California. In the early 2000s, Hockney decided to travel a bit of Europe. He used watercolours while still maintaining the bright, bold colours he loved to use. After travelling, he returned to the seaside town of Bridlington in East Yorkshire. It was here he developed the love of the Yorkshire walls. The rolling hills, woodlands and farmlands inspired his artwork. And he often returned to the same places to catch the landscapes in different seasons. In 2008, he permanently moved to Bridlington. He started to explore digital art by using apps on his iPhone. Still using bold colours, he captures the subjects with great detail. Hockney also used his computer to create and manipulate his artwork. In 2010, David Hockney bought one of the first releases of the iPads at the time. He was excited to have a bigger screen. He returned to California for a trip and produced these iPad drawings of the Yosemite. In 2011, Hockney was voted the most influential British painter. Hockney still continues to create art in his 80s. So let's have a look at the timeline. What's your favourite Hockney style?